paper plates as glides. So we'll use those in just a minute and we'll go ahead and get started. Welcome everyone, Sharon and Sakiko and John. Welcome today. Hope you're doing well and staying safe. Take some deep breaths, inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth. Bring the arms forward and press down. Inhale up, exhale, press down. Lift and lower. Add a march, lift to the side and forward. Side, palms up, press palms down to the front, up and down. Marching to get the blood pumping. Inhale up, exhale down. Up and down. Good. March in place. Knees up, belly in, chest out. Step touch, side touch, side touch. Just getting warmed up. March in place. Chest out. Sit tall. Pull your belly button in toward your spine. Good. Now heels down. Heel. Pick the knees up. Heel out. Press forward, press. And up, press, press. Good, now do a figure eight with the arms. Continue with the heels. Eyes follow your hands if you can. One arm, figure eight. Switch arms down and around. Good, now two heels, heel, toe, heel, together. Heel, toe, heel, together. Heel, toe, heel. Heel, toe, heel. Now to the side, heel, toe, heel. Heel, toe, heel. Now to the front, heel, toe, heel, and then to the side, same leg. Switch, heel, toe, heel to the front, heel, toe, heel to the side. Good, front and side. Front, side, good, one more time. Front, side, front, and side. Now you're going to add a heel, twist, heel. Heel, toe, heel, together. Twist, open, close, open, together. Open, close, open, together. Twisting, working the hips, inner and outer thighs. Heel, toe, heel. Heel, toe, heel. We're going to use the plates and twists later, so this is a warm-up for that. One more. Good. Now tap your toe, punch the punching bag.
switch, tap. Keep going. And toes, cross the body, cross, cross. Belly in, working the waist, working your brains. Both arms, cross, pull, cross, pull. Open the chest. And back to the march, chest out, belly in. Alternate, pulling the knees up, sit tall, flex your foot, stretching the hips and lower back. Sit taller. Hold one leg up, point and flex your foot, work through the ankle. Pretend there's a string pulling you taller. Good, circle the ankle, open your toes, then pull them apart, rotate. Circle the other way. You wanna be stretching those ankles every day. Keep them flexible and strong. Back to point and flex fast. And release, good, switch legs, sit tall, point, flex. Pull your toes apart inside your shoes. Circle the ankle. Reverse. Point and flex fast. And release, good, play the piano. Reach, reach. Wiggle those fingers, wiggle them faster. Fast as you can, warm up those fingers. Keep them wiggling, keep going. A few more. And release, good, open the arms and chest, hands behind your head, side center side from the waist, exhale over, inhale center. Knees and feet together if you can. The closer your legs are together, the more you're gonna work your balance, even if we're sitting. If your balance is compromised, take your legs wide. That'll give you better support. But we wanna practice Now lift your hip as you bring your elbow down. Elbow down, hip up, side to side. And release, open the chest. Good, let's grab our plates. Place them on the floor. So you wanna put the ball of your foot on the plate to start. Extend one foot and the opposite arm and switch. Pressing your foot down, the harder you push, the more resistance you're gonna have. And resistance builds stronger muscles and bones. So cross country ski, pretend you're out in the mountains. We're going for a nice beautiful cross country ski. Pretend it's snowing and it's a gorgeous sunny day with a little bit of snow. Ski. Picture the mountains in the background. Isn't that lovely? Good, and release. Now dig your heels into the plate. One foot and then the other. Press, press, press down with your hand on your thigh. Push, push, push. Now use the arms, push, press out, 
Dig your heel into the plate, adding resistance. You're going to feel the hamstrings working as you pull your heel back. Now hold onto the plate, both legs together, out, pull back. Sit tall, abs in. Really feel those hamstrings working, the back of your legs. And by lifting your toes, you're going to feel the shins working as well. Press, pull, press, pull. I feel this. I hope you do too. Good. Release. Place your toes back on. Now we're going to twist, 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 twist. Windshield wipe the arms. Arms go up, reach. And touch your opposite shoulder as you twist. Good, twist faster. That's it, twist, twist, twist. Now you're just going to take one heel on and one toe. Just the foot that the toe is on, twist that foot. And bring that leg out to the side. And then bring that leg back in as you continue to twist. Press out, twisting. And pull back in, twisting. Out. Back. Out and back. Switch feet. Place the heel down and the ball of the foot. Twist. The ball of your foot is pressing down and then bring that leg out to the side. Back in. Push down with the foot. And in. Out. In. One more time. And both heels down, twist. Windshield wipe those arms. Arms come up. Out. And down. Faster. Good. Release. Place the balls of your feet back on. Back to cross-country skiing. Press down with those legs. Press hard. Ski. We're back in the mountains. Enjoying the beautiful scenery and the nice cool weather. The 100 degree day outside is just in our imagination. We're really up in the mountains enjoying cooler weather. And back to the center. Now take one leg out and then the other. Same arm as leg. Reach out at an angle. Angle. Both together. Make a V. Pull back. Out. Pull back. Really squeeze the shoulder blades as you pull your arms back. Good. Now you're going to take one foot and cross it and open. Cross, open. The arm and foot are doing the same thing. Make sure your knee stays right over the ankle. Abs are in. Good. Switch legs. Cross, Open, cross, open.
Back to cross country skiing, one more time. Reach, opposite arm is leg. Really push down with your feet. And release, heels down, same arm as leg, out at an angle, press your heel down hard, reach, reach. Two to one side, two. Switch, double, double, double. Now single, single, double. Single, single, double. Switch, single, single, double. Say it with me, loud, single, single, double. Single, single, double. Loud and clear. Again, single, single, double. Last time, single, single, double. Good. And reach both arms and legs out. Pull back. Reach, pull. Really dig your heels down. If you need to hold on to the chair, do so. Reach. Pull, squeezing the shoulder blades as you pull back, opening the chest, improving our posture. And release. Good. Take your feet off your plates. Turn at an angle. Reach down. Pick them up. Turn at an angle. Put them back down. Turn at an angle. Pick them back up, turn at an angle, put them back down, good, turn at an angle. We're going to pick both of them up now. We're going to stay turned at an angle. You're going to reach to your foot and open from the chest. You can hold on to the chair or you can place your hand on your thigh. Reach and open, getting a good stretch through the waist. Exhale down. Inhale up. Keep your head above your heart. Good. One more. Lift up. Circle your wrist. Reverse the circle. And release. Switch sides. Step to the center. Step over to the other side. Switching hands. Your free hand is on your leg. Legs are wide. Reach to the foot and open from the chest. Inhale as you open. Exhale down. Good. One more. Keep that arm up. Open the chest. Circle the wrist. Reverse. And release. Good. We're going to go ahead and stand up now. So carefully stand up. Step to the side. We're going to put one plate down. Your hip is in alignment with your chair, shoulders down and back. Use the inside foot, press down and twist. So the foot is slightly in front of your back leg and you're twisting. From the hip, knee in, knee out. Your other foot is parallel, it's straight. Abs are in, shoulders down and back. Good. 
Now dig your heel in. Press forward and up. Press out and up. Make sure not to pull back on your chair. Press down with your hand for balance. Press and pull. Strengthening that standing leg and the hamstring of the foot that's on the plate. Little squat. Good, really shake out your legs. Bend down carefully and pick your plate up. Keep your head up. Good, let's go over to the other side. Head and chest up as you lower your plate. To the inside, heel down. Press out, pull back. Out and back. We'll do our twist next. Knee over the toe. Press, pull. This is a good one. Good. Ball of the foot, twist. So the foot is slightly in front. Twist from the hip. Abs in. Hold on if you need to. And release. Good. Go ahead and shake out your legs. Pump your feet. And let's place the inside foot on the plate again. Bend your knees. Press back this time and pull back in. Press. Pull back. Press back. Your weight is center between your legs. You're pushing down with the ball of your foot. One more. Good. Release. We're going to switch legs now. So you're going to place the outside foot down, hip in line with the chair, press out, pull back, out, pull back. So all your weight is over the standing leg. We're not shifting our weight over, we're staying right here and just pressing and pulling. Working the outer thigh and hip. Good, really shake out your legs. Now stagger your stance. So your back leg is by your chair, the other foot is slightly in front, and then slowly bend down and pick up your plate. Come up slowly, head and chest stay up above your heart, your hips are back. Building strength in the legs, lower it down. Slowly pick it back up. One more time, lower it down, come up. And go ahead and pick your plate up. We're going to switch sides again. Hip in line. Lower your plate. Place the ball of your foot, inside foot first. Bend your knee. Press back. Pull forward. Press. Pull back. So all your weight is over this front leg. Your abs are in. Press. Press. Strengthening the back of your legs and the glutes. Five more, four, three, two, one. Good, release, shake out those legs a little bit, switch feet, hip in line with the chair, bend your support leg so all your weight is on that support leg. You're gonna slide your leg out and in, out, in, press, pull. And release, good, shake out your legs. Stagger your stance so one foot is behind the chair, the other foot slightly to the side. Bend your knees, head and chest up, weight back in the hips, and then pick up your plate. So if you ever have to pick something up at home, this is the proper way to do it. You stagger your stance, your legs are wide, your head and chest is up, and then you're bending your knees, so you're using your legs and not your back to pick something up off the floor or put something down. 
We want to stay safe and prevent falls. So stagger your stance, use your legs, protect your back. One more time, down and up. Good, we're gonna sit back down now. Great job. And go ahead and put your two plates down. Heels down, tap your toes, tap, tap, tap. Working the shins, the ankles. Fingers tap. Working through the wrists. Palms up. And release the ball of the feet on. Now you're going to take the legs out and around. Swim. Breaststroke. Out and around. Out and around. Good. Place one heel and do a circle with that leg out and around, digging your heel into the plate. Switch legs, heel down, out and around. Good, both toes down. Now we're gonna go backwards, back and around. Arms and legs do the same thing, in, out, and around. And release. Go ahead and slowly pick up your plates, put them together and then place them between your knees. So don't let those knees come apart. You don't want those plates to fall. You're gonna squeeze your inner thighs and release. Squeeze, release, squeeze, release. As you squeeze, grow, lifting the pelvic floor, and then release. Let's slow it down a little bit. Inhale, squeeze. Exhale, release. Inhale, squeeze. Exhale, release. Squeeze, release. We've done a lot of inner and outer thighs today, a lot of hamstring work. So you should be feeling this. Squeeze, squeeze, and squeeze and hold, hold, hold. Good, release. Shake out those legs. Inhale, bring the arms up. Stretch and lengthen, look up. Pull your shoulders down. Reach to one side, look up. Good, inhale center, stretch and lengthen, shoulders down. Reach up and over to the other side. Open the chest and look up. And inhale center, good, lower. Take your fingertips on top and on the bottom, on the fingertips, rotate the plates around. It's good for arthritis in your hands. And then circle the other way. Hold here at the tips of your fingers. And then upside down. So your palms are up and you're balancing the plate on your hands. See if this start, stops your tremors. This should help with that. Hold. Good, release, switch hands, other hand on the bottom. Rotate around. On your fingertips, rotate, and then reverse, and then just hold the plate up, open the chest, good posture, that's it, and then palms down, open your fingers, see if you can balance the plate on the back of your hand and see if this helps with your tremors. Good. 
Excellent, good. Release, plates apart. Open the arms and chest and cross. Open, cross. Open, cross. Release, shake out your shoulders. Go ahead and put your plates down. Let's cool down, inhale. And I'm gonna demonstrate after this how to get up from a fall. So I've heard a lot of people have been falling lately and we don't want that to happen, but if, we, if it does, you need to be able to know how to get up properly. So roll your shoulders up, back and around. So I'll demonstrate that in just a minute. Circle the elbows up, back and around. Taking nice deep breaths. And then stretch the neck. Flex your wrist. Gently pull your head over to one side. And switch sides. And then take your palm and press it up against your head. So resist by pushing your hand into your head and your head into your hand. Resist. Release, strengthening the neck. Press. Release. Press. Release, one more. Good, switch sides. Press. Release. Press. Release, that's it, press. Press, press. Now you're gonna take your palms up into your forehead. Push your forehead forward and your palms press into the forehead. Resist, 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 resist. Good, hands behind your head. Press your head into your hands, press back. Chin is down slightly, press back. Press back, strengthening the neck. Good, really stretch up from the waist. Look up, lengthen, and bring the arm out and around. Good, switch arms, stretch up from the waist, reach and lengthen, and then bring the arm around. Good, now out and around, out and around. And both arms, open the arms and chest. Make a fist, rotate your thumbs down and up. Thumbs up, circle them around. Good for arthritis in the fingers. Motion is a lotion, keep moving. Reverse. And now touch each finger to your thumb. Pull your fingers wide. And now we're gonna do work on our coordination. So you're gonna do your pointer and your thumb and your pinky and your thumb. And then you're gonna switch, switch, switch. So you've switched. You've got your pinky and your thumb and your pointer and your thumb. Touch those and then touch, touch, touch. Touch, 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 touch. So it's four times, alternating. This is your homework. Practice this at home, working on your coordination. So you wanna do opposite hand fingers and wiggle them. Good job. Okay, chin to the chest, roll your head like a pendulum in front of your body. It's always good to challenge yourself And chin down, sit up tall, look up, and release. Good job today, thank you so much. And I'm gonna show you how to get up off the floor now. So if you have fallen and you're down on the ground, one thing when you fall, you wanna protect your hips. Number one, always protect your hips. So even if you have to put your hands down, you're better off breaking a wrist or an elbow or shoulder than a hip. We wanna protect our hips, but the main thing is to try to just loosen your body 
and fall gently to protect your body. So if you're down on the floor, you've fallen, evaluate everything, make sure everything's fine, you're not hurt, you're not, nothing's broken. Once you found out that you're okay and you think you can get up, you're going to roll onto your side. You're going to bend your knees, take your hand by your chest, the top arm, and push yourself up. The other hand comes down, use your arms to lift your body. Come up onto your hands and knees. From your hands and knees, you're going to crawl over to a sturdy piece of furniture. Whether it's a chair or a coffee table, find something sturdy. Put your forearms up on the chair or the toes under. You're going to use the outside leg and bring it forward. So your legs are staggered and then you're going to use your legs to get yourself up and then sit back down. And that's the safest way for you to get up. Good job. Inhale. Exhale. Thank you. Have a great day, everyone.